So for today's video, we have a live studio audience. My cat is on my bed right now. And yeah, she's gonna stay there. Welcome back to a brand new I Rate Your Teams video. I didn't have one last weekend and I do apologize about that. I am currently in the process of moving house again. And it's a very tricky process, so I do apologize. Uploads have been all over the place, and that's my fault. I need to get back onto it. I need to get my head in the game. We will do that. So we'll probably have these every single week, as usual, from now on. Uh, maybe twice a week, if you guys really request them. And I'm going to start doing themes. So next week's theme is going to be... Next week's theme for I Rate Your Teams is going to be skillers. I want to see teams that have three or more five-star skillers in the team. Of course, if you want to be featured in an I Rate Your Teams video, it's really simple. Please listen up because people get it wrong every single week. You need to follow me on Twitter. You need to then take a screenshot from your console of choice. I'll leave links in the description showing you guys how to take screenshots from your console and post them to Twitter. Then post your screenshot with a description of your team. For example, who's untradeable, how many coins you've got, who you play in game. Preferably have the team in game as your screenshot and tweet it to me using the hashtag it's Haber. Don't at me, use the hashtag it's Haber. That's the only way that I can find these screenshots is by finding a specific hashtag. So please follow those because the amount of people that either tweet me without descriptions and just at me or the people that don't have the hashtag or people that don't follow me and I'd love to see your and uh, put your target guys teams in the videos but sadly it's just it's impossible if you don't follow all those tasks to be featured it's not difficult at all I promise you so let's get into the video just want to interrupt this video to talk to you guys about an app called Amino Amino stories to be precise now Amino hit me up and asked me to make a video on their app and let me tell you some i really want to show you guys this app amino is a brand new app bringing you guys sophisticated stories on a build-up of different scenes it allows stories to have structure as opposed to just seeing a lot of random videos on your timeline and you can focus on exactly what you want to see for example i want to see video games you tap video games at the top and you can see stories for video games and only video games i've just been given a multiple step tutorial on how to make a minecraft house that's dope now i am also going to be creating stories on amino you can find me by typing it's haber and searching for me as you see i'm a verified user snazzy i like that and i've already created a story that i've posted so far i decided to compile my top five best pack pools for team of the season now you can find my profile and i highly recommend you guys follow me and subscribe to me now to demonstrate how to follow and subscribe to someone on amino i thought i'd do it on my friend tom's profile he's not posted anything yet but he will be soon as you see you click follow and click on the notifications bell to subscribe to someone to get notified every time they post so when tom posts his first story I'll get straight notified. But another great feature is also the topics feature where you can find yourself different hashtags and topics that actually follow. There's a lot of different communities within these. So for example, the Fortnite itself, you'll find stories and you'll also find communities within those topics. You can download Amino on iOS and Android via the link in the description and make sure you go and follow me and turn my notifications on on Amino. I'll be posting more stories soon. Thank you for watching. Let's get back to the video. I want to start off by showing you guys my team, actually. This is the team that I'm using at the minute. It's actually quite a fun team. I play this formation in game as well. It's a formation that I haven't used before, and I'm trying to use players that I haven't been using a lot. So, for example, I've been using a lot of Dumfries over Danny DaCosta, so I brought Danny DaCosta back in. I haven't been using Matthias at all. Brought Danny, Mat uh, Danny Matthias. Brought Matthias back in. Uh, Lozano is just an incredible card. Thoroughly enjoy using this card. Uh, I haven't used Firmino in a long time, so I've brought in Firmino again and started using him again. Um, and the essential of course, Hullet, Vieira, uh, and the centre backs and whatnot. I haven't used Delict much, so I'm enjoying using Delict as well. He's actually really, really good. Uh, and then, of course, this is the bench that can be interchanged and whatever to bring in different sort of players. So let's get into the teams that we are reviewing for today's video. So team number one comes from V Hinker, who posted that on July 6th. I do want to quickly specify there's no special day to post them. I find teams from all over the place in terms of dates. There is no specific date, but this one is from July 6th. So he showed me this is his game. This is his game. This is his team to start with. And then this is his in game team. He's using a 4 2 3 1. He's got team of the year Messi. He's got Sterling. He's got Mertens. And it says only Rykard and Kudabali are tradable. You have 300,000 coins. What should you do? Now, the team actually looks pretty nice, to be fair. Decent in game. Uh, nice starting. And then, uh, and then obviously, uh, you've got a nice team there. Uh, I do like the look of this team. I think it's very, very nice. So uh, I've gone ahead and build it. And let's, uh, let's actually have a look at a, co a couple changes you could pursue, I guess. So this is the team in game. First of all, let me get rid of your weakness. There. And you know what? You're the weakness right there. These two are, I think, your weaker factors of the team, personally. I will personally actually have 
uh, Marquinhos as a starting centre-back as opposed to a starting CDM. I just think it'd be way better as a starting uh, centre-back. And then you've got room to sort of work on these two CDMs. Now, I don't know the price of Koulibaly. Well, it's about 80,000 coins and Rijkaard is roughly what? Uh, oh, it's about 500,000 coins. So you're probably working with about 900k here. And of course, you've got to think about how you start the team, which if you guys don't remember, it looks like this as a starter. So you're removing your central centre mid and your right cam. What I would personally do straight away in terms of using CDMs and good CDMs, I'm a big fan of Blanc. I'm, I've been really enjoying Blanc's baby card on my other account. So I personally get Blanc as your right CDM. Okay, you already have Blanc in this squad. I just realized I'm an idiot. I'll pro probably first of all go with baby Vieira as your first CDM uh, or middle Vieira, should I say. Middle Vieira is probably better, actually. Middle Vieira is what? About... Roughly 900 to a million coins. If you can afford this card, then go for this card. If you can't, then go for Baby Vieira as your first CDM. He's actually a solid card in game. Uh, I used to use this card around Christmas time. I used this card for a long time. And I think he'd still be viable to this day. He's still got very, very good stats. So I personally go with Baby Vieira as one of your CDMs. Then you've got room to sort of go with anyone you want as the other CDM. That, of course, either links to uh, Mertens or Messi. Um, and in terms of players to think about, maybe a French player would be decent to get the link to, um, to Vieira. Possibly an icon as well. Maybe an icon CDM wouldn't be the worst shout in the world. Um, if you really do enjoy Rijkaard, of course, of course keep Rijkaard if you really do. Uh, but I think maybe like a Prime Petit would be a decent CDM for you. Um, this card was decent to start the game for me. Uh, he's got really, really nice stats. The only problem with uh, Petit is that his jumping isn't amazing. But aside from that, he's actually got a really good long shot as well. Like his long shot is fantastic in game. Um, I'd probably go with these two as your CDMs and keep everything else the same because obviously the, the top part of the team is fantastic. The defense is fantastic. I mean, Ariel is a little bit you know, but I mean, you can't really, you can't really do much about that because he's getting the link to Marquinhos. Um, so I'd probably go with something like this. I think that these two players would be fantastic for your team and uh, and it'd be a really, really nice addition at CDM for both of those players. The next team is from Bevan Does, the second team this is, uh, and he starts off with a 4-3-3. Uh, a few very nice players in there and then he switches in game two. A 4-2-3-1. There you go. Sometimes Twitter just takes a little bit of time to, uh, to switch there. He switches to a 4-2-3-1 in game um, with a very, very nice setup there. And he says, he actually says, uh, he, this is my team. Only Ronaldo, Fabinho and Donnarumma are tradable. Got about 75,000 coins on Xbox. This is a quote-unquote road to glory. So it takes me a while to get coins. Please review. Thanks. Okay. I mean, you've got a few nice players on the bench as well there. Uh, it's a nice team, to be honest. It's, it's a nice team that you're looking at. Of course, I've built it to uh, explore a few different avenues that you could change. Now, he does play a 4-3-3 in game, so we're going to bear that in mind really quickly. And he needs, ideally, someone that will link with Ronaldo as his uh, central centre mid. You've got 75,000 coins, Donnarumma, Fabinho, and Ronaldo tradable. I'd personally just get rid of Donnarumma and get someone else there. Uh, in terms of who you can actually go for there, you can go for any Serie A or Italian goalkeeper. I personally, the only change I'd make here is maybe go with like a Lafont or maybe uh, like a Chesney. I've personally played against this Chesney card, and he's very difficult to, to play against this personal Chesney card here. Um, and it's a nice, it's a nice card, you know. That's pretty much the only change I'd make. I wouldn't make any other change to the team. I think it's nice. I personally don't like Right Card, but a lot of people seem to be using him and enjoying him. Um, and as you don't really have that many coins, you probably aren't going to get a good replacement for him. So I'd keep Right Card. Uh, but no, it's a nice team. Uh, I would like to ask first of all your opinion on what you think of this. Fabinho card over here because this is a card that I've personally wanted to use for a while but haven't actually tried but he looks phenomenal as a CDM in game and the other thing I like to say is a lot of people have been giving me not stick but a lot of people like to disagree with anything I say about goalkeepers ever when I talk about goalkeepers in these videos goalkeepers on FIFA are literally completely different for everybody every single person goalkeepers are different my favorite goalie this game is uh, Prime Van der Sar, whereas people say Van der Sar is the worst goalie in the world for them. I think this Chesney card's amazing. People are going to say, use that Chesney card, he's, he's rubbish, he's absolutely rubbish. It really depends on a load of different factors. First of all, if you are very bad at defending, no goalkeeper is going to be incredible for you because you're going to leak goals no matter what if you're crap at defending. Um, but if you're great at defending, any goalie you have probably feels amazing because you won't concede a whole lot of goals. There's loads of different factors that go into goalies and I don't think it's really anyone's place to say one goal is better than another i would say that i personally disliked donnarumma and i personally like chesney i'm not going to say chesney is the better goalkeeper it's just personal opinion and it's the same for you guys so keep it respectful because in one of the one of the latest episodes a lot of people were arguing in the comments about it and it's like 
It's not that deep, boys. It's not that deep. The third team of the episode is from Curtis Rennie, or Curtis Rene. I don't know how that's pronounced. I do apologize. He said, the second screenshot is how I play in game. All plays are untradeable. You have 200,000 coins. So he starts in a five back and he switches in game to a 43-1 and he swaps out Pear, sorry, Depay for Nicolas Pepe over there at the central council. Now, I built this and there is some changes I personally would make. Now, how many? You had 200,000 coins, you say? First thing I would personally do is get rid of this card. He needs to be relinquished to the bench, in my opinion. I've personally hated this card when I used him. He didn't have enough stamina to last the entire game. He didn't feel that strong. He's quite short. Uh, personally, I just didn't like the card at all. I wasn't a big fan of it. Um, aside from, he, he feels quite quick, but that's literally about it. Uh, in terms of uh, who I would use instead, I would personally start Pepe. Now, I'd also probably bench Danny DaCosta, and I'd, uh, I would personally start Lala as a right back, and then Pepe uh, as your right cam. Now, if you're wondering how this is going to work, let me quickly show you the team once more. So, I would personally put Lala at right back. I would then start Pepe at right wing. So, then you need to get another centre back that's going to act as your CDM. Or you can get rid of Depay, put your CDM in there. Then you're looking for a cam, I guess. These are the changes that I personally make to your squad. I saw that you had David Luiz as uh, a bench player. Uh, you don't have Marcus Alonso, but if you can do Marcus Alonso, then maybe do Marcus Alonso to get the chemistry a little bit better and bench your Furl and Mendy. Um, this is what I personally do, though. I'd have Alwa and, and David Luiz as your CDMs. I would then go and buy uh, yourself a Genie Wijnaldum, and I'd play these three as your three cams. Now, in terms of how it would look like as your starting team, obviously, this is how you start. So let me quickly uh, build how it would start in-game for you. It means that you don't have to sub anyone on either. Uh, sorry, sub anyone off either. Um, this would actually mean that you could uh, start your play players and not have to sub anyone off which would be I think very helpful I think subbing people off is literally a waste of substitutions if you ask me so this would probably be more of a helpful way to do it um it might be a, a smart shout like I said to go and do yourself Marcus Alonso and bench Ferl and Mendy I know that's quite sacrilegious because Ferl and Mendy is an absolute god on this game but Marcus Alonso is still a fantastic left back and it would mean that you get everyone pretty much on full chemistry bar maybe one or two players so this is what it'd look like as your starting team, um, with Marcus Lonzo at left back uh, and David Luiz at left centre back. In fact, looking at your plays, no one starts off chemistry here. Uh, and then you have everyone on full chem in game. Now, this literally would only mean the addition of Genie Wijnaldum, who in terms of price, I actually don't know how much this card is. That's the uh, foot champions card. So let me actually have a look at Genie Wijnaldum's price real quick. Um, I don't know how much this card is. I know you have a 200,000 coin budget. And it's just a bit more. So if you can work towards it, then work towards it. If not, then you maybe a lesser version of Wijnaldum, like a... What the versions is why now I'm got this is that's the only annoying thing is that you're on that 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 point where you don't have enough coins to get the best players but you're, you're not far off. So if you work towards Team of the Season, Genie Wijnaldum, and get yourself that Marcus Alonso, I think you'd be working perfectly here to have a, a very nice team. And of course, have it in game as well, like you saw earlier, what it looked like in game. So that is what I think of your squad. Uh, I really would like to know, I've seen a few people using this card. How is this card in game? I'd love to, I'd love to hear how this card is in game. It looks like a decent card. Uh, personally, never used it. Might have to pick it up. How much is it? It is about, what, 400k, something like that. I might have to pick this card up and have a look how it is in game because uh, it looks like a decent card. The fourth team of the episode for today is from James Doherty on Twitter. He says, everyone's untradeable. You have 470,000 coins to upgrade. Finally, a, a decent coin value. Um, can you please rate my team, give any suggestions? And finally, we have a team. Thank you. That isn't a 4-2-3-1, all right? I get it. It's, it's one of the most meta formations in the game. I totally understand. However, it's so boring. Lads, come on. Next episode, please refrain from the 4-2-3-1 teams. Anyway, this is his team as it starts. And this is the team, of course, in game. Now, I've gone ahead and built it over on my uh, on my console to have a look at different changes that we could make. So, first of all, first things first, I'd swap those two. I think Depay would be way better at cam. 90 passing, um, way better stats for a cam. Whereas uh, Cliver, in my opinion, does not have the stats for a cam, especially in like passing and dribbling, for example, whereas Depay would be way better. Uh, so, that's the first thing that I personally do. I think it, you've got a really nice uh, front three here. Uh, maybe Firmino might not be the most defensive player to have as a as a centre mid. I don't imagine he'd be that bad, but you know you can maybe get more of a defensive option or maybe get a better CDM. Like if you can work towards a Vieira, that might be a really good option for you. Aside from that, this team is phenomenal. I really wish this card would get re-released so I can do it on my main account because this card is one of the best cards in the entire game for me. I absolutely love that card, so hopefully it gets re-released. But yeah, like I said, aside from that, this team is genuinely phenomenal. 
this is a really nice team. What weak foot? So four star weak foot and four star weak foot. Yeah, so realistically, these on either side wouldn't matter in terms of weak foot. And then the pie, obviously, five star skills, three star weak foot. Like I said, you're probably better off with the pie at cam, these two at striker. Very, very, very nice team, though. Um, and I would love to hear as well, how is this card playing game? I haven't used this card, and I, I wish, again, I could do this on my main account because it's a really nice card, and I would love to have used it. Uh, so let me know how it is in game. The last team for the episode is from Victor. Now, this team was actually submitted on May 14th. Uh, Victor, of course, follows me on Twitter. Uh, sorry, the reason why I'm doing this is to prove that they all follow me on Twitter for the for the episode. Um, so he says, I use 4 one 2 one 2 with Vardy and Cliver up top and Pires Cam. Whole team untradeable. You have 150,000 coins to spend. So this is what his team currently looks like. It's a nice team. Like I said, May 14th, a long time ago. So maybe you've mo already made a few changes. That's the only problem with the longer dated teams. Maybe you've already made a few changes. But if your squad still looks something like this, then personally, the changes I would make straight away, get yourself team of the season Rusi on. Don't actually know how much the card is. Um, let me actually have a look how much this Rusi on card actually sells for. Uh, because first of all, this is definitely the first change I'd make. If you can. So he sells for what? Like 80, 90,000 coins. And then with the remaining coins, just get a better version of Cancelo. Any any re like higher rated version of Cancelo you could personally get. That's what I would do. And just work on coins to upgrade plays in the positions. For example, you next you want to work on maybe upgrading Kula Bali to a better version. After that, you maybe want to work on getting rid of Sol Campbell for a... Uh, for, a, I don't know, like a Maldini or something, if you can work towards the SBC. Like, you just want to upgrade plays as they go along. Aside from that, the team looks nice. And uh, you're one of the first people I think I've ever seen that uses this card. I'd never come up against this card ever. Um, I wonder how it is, to be fair. It doesn't look too bad. It looks like it'd probably be a pretty clinical stri uh, striker. And, of course, you've got Cliver on the right to get those left-footed left, left first-time shots, if need be. Um, whereas the three-star weak foot just isn't good enough. It's a very nice team, actually. I think it's 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 really well-structured, and it's a nice team. Um, like I said, the only adjustments I'd make, personally, are probably Roussillon and Cancelo special cards. Thank you all for watching this video. If you guys have enjoyed, leave a like down below. Massive thank you again to Amino for sponsoring this video. Uh, and I'm very grateful to you guys for putting me in a position to be able to actually uh, take sponsored deals and stuff like that you know the summer is quite harsh for views on fifa uh so to be able to support myself financially with uh other means for example uh sponsored deals i do appreciate it um and it's nice to be able to to build up the audience throughout the year and then and then get myself like sponsored deals to keep me going so that the next year we can go hard again for fifa 20 it's it's amazing so i'm very grateful to you guys and, and thank you all for submitting your squads don't forget to submit your squads for the next episode it's gonna be it's gonna be uh what's the word um, it's going to have a theme, basically. It's going to be themed. It's going to be five-star skillers. So make sure you submit a team of five-star skillers. Or what? Not all, all five. Like three. Minimum three. You get what I'm saying. Anyway, it's not hard to understand. Thank you for watching. I'll see you later.